Electric Barnyard. All right, Toby, in your opinion, what makes a song a country song? A lot of things can make it a country song, but um, most of the time it's, it's kind of foreseen. You, you don't have to ask your, you don't have to ask that question most of the time. You know it's country when you hear it, but uh, lyrically, anything can be anything. So to make it country, you have to have that steel guitar. You know, I mean, you got steel guitar, fiddle, dobro, those kind of things. Be, be kind of organic with it. To, to really make it country. There's a lot of things passed for country. It, it's really uh, primarily instrumental then, in your opinion, you think? Yeah, because lyrically, um, you could hip hop any lyric you wanted to, or, or you could blues up any lyric you wanted to, or you could countryize, chicken fry any kind of lyric too. So um, there was a band that covered ACDC years ago, Bluegrass band that covered all their songs. They did them bluegrass style. It sounded like bluegrass music, so instrumentally, I'd say the music. We learned in, uh, I think it was was a Forbes magazine, that you're worth $500 million. I just wondered if you still have to use a budget. Have what? Do you, do you have a budget? No, I don't have a budget no more. Buy whatever you want. I can't outrun it. I can't outrun it now. <laughs> that I must be nice. I can't screw it up that bad. Okay. My grandkids couldn't screw that up. Will Show Dog and Big Machine ever join forces and, and become one? We were once. We started together. Did you really? Yeah, we started together. And... uh lasted six months we're uh, incompatible how so we just can't live together we had to get different bed partners what's the most ridiculous rumor that you've ever heard about yourself golly pick one i don't know the the obvious one that sticks out all the time is that i'm, I'm a, that i'm a republican I've never been a republican a day in my life and i just laugh every time i hear it so the people who support that branch of government always wave my flag and say at least we got him and the people who are against it always go well he's republican i was a democrat my whole life till about six years ago and i became independent but i've never been a republican I, that's the most far off base one that's the one where the headlines win what's more uh sacred in the country music world would that be uh, dolly parton's boobs or luke bryan's butt i don't know about this the butt thing but i know the I know the boobs are lucrative. <laughs> she made a lot of money off those. The Toby Keith Dixie Chicks drama. Is that over? Are you guys on good terms? Are you ignoring each other? Anything to say there? I haven't heard from them in 12 years. I don't know nothing about them. Okay. And let's talk about your son, football. Yeah. You're taking Fridays off now, playing high school ball. And not, you're just, not just Fridays, almost the whole fall. Okay. Um, he's a junior, and he's got a junior and senior year, 6A school. Uh, quarterback on his team's going to Alabama and um, committed to Alabama, so they got a good chance, and uh, I'm going to go watch a lot of Friday night football. And... How do you feel about that, Alabama? <laughs> huh? Hell, he's committed to Alabama? Yeah, but um, Oklahoma picked their kid. Oklahoma does a little bit more. This kid's a little more stand in the pocket. Moves around good, but he throws. He's a slinger, gunslinger back there, and the quarterbacks Oklahoma takes are more mobile. They run a little bit and throw. And they got their commitment they wanted, and this kid was stuck without a deal. And it shows you how good he is. But uh, I'm gonna pull for him while he's here. Okay. And <laughs> pull you, for him while he's my, with my son. You're gonna be on the sidelines, on? Yep. Right, do you help coach or do? I no, quit last year. Was my first year. I had my son and his boys from second grade uh, through ninth grade and into some of the tenth grade, and then I quit. I was. I was. Uh, it's time for me to turn them over. You got any uh, fun razzle dazzle plays up your sleeve? Oh, I've always got one of those. I gave a uh, good friend of mine, Tom Brown, who's uh, kind of a Hall of Fame legendary coach in North Carolina in high school. I gave him my two point conversion play one time after he coached Kevin Wilson, who's at Indiana now, the head coach at Indiana University. He was our offensive coordinator, and he coached Tom, coached him back in the day in high school. So he would come to the OU games. And I took Coach Brown out of dear old soul, and I said, he was, what's your favorite play? I said, the play you can use is my goal line play. And I gave him my goal line play to run on the two-point conversion. And they went back and run it. And they're, after being successful five out of six times, when they call it in, they hold up and act like they're playing air guitar from the sideline. That's their signal in, is they play a fake play a guitar, air guitar, and that tells them to play my, run my play. So is that what's next for you then, the Toby Keith playbook? 
Yeah, I can't. My playbook's too good. They couldn't deal with my playbook. You know why? Because we sometimes don't punt on fourth down. We very seldom ever punt on fourth down. If we get across 40-yard line, our 40-yard line, we don't punt. So they wouldn't like that. I put the pressure on. I figure if it's fourth and three, I got a better chance. I figure I got a better chance picking up three yards than I do a punt and stopping them from going and scoring a field goal. So they're going to get a field goal anyway. So – 